Hey everybody, Trent Moto here, and today we're uh, not on the VFR. We are currently on my father's CBR 650F because the uh, well, the VFR is cooked. <laughs> it seems like every time I'm on that VFR, there's something wrong with it. But um, yeah, we're gonna get into what's wrong with the VFR and maybe do some other stuff. But uh, yeah, for now we're gonna get onto the v, uh, CBR and we're gonna go for a little spin around and see what we're trying to trouble we can get into. So. So yeah, the VFR is slightly cooked. Um, it's not like fully broken. It's just, uh, but, but about, uh, last time I was out on it, I pulled over at my usual little resting spot and she just wouldn't start. So I'm like, okay, jump started. And I'm like, oh, well maybe the battery's dead. Get home, battery's just completely zero. And I'm like, okay, that's weird, charge it. Still doing some weird stuff. And I asked father like, what would be causing this? He goes, well, it's either the alternator or it's the battery. And I'm like, okay, well, how are we gonna, how we test that? And he goes, well, if you charge the battery, he goes, no, 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 the alternator's good, charge your battery, disconnect it. If the alternator's good, the bike will stay running if it's the, uh, but yeah, so um, I get the bike home, right? And, uh, you know, we go through a bit of testing and dad's like, if it's your alternator's dead, when you disconnect the battery, the bike will just die. If the alternator is good, the bike will stay running. And I'm like, okay, hopefully it's not the alternator. The alternator is like $200. And uh, charged the battery for an hour. So the battery was good and full to go. And then we disconnected the battery. And then the bike just immediately dies. Like, not even like a, like a second thought. It just immediately shuts off. And I'm like, oh, okay. That's just... Uh, like a long list of things on the bike that needs to be replaced. So that 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 sort of killed my mood for the day because I was already having to like get tires and redo the insurance on it, which was already gonna be like kind of expensive. I ain't gonna lie. So um, plan for probably the rest of the year is I might just put my old bike back on the road, me old Honda Shadow. I've been having, uh, I got that for the remainder of what the VFR's insurance was. That was fun. But uh, got to renew the insurance to get an inspection on the bike because she's up. So, you know, probably next video should be a Honda Shadow video. And there are a couple things I want to do. Oh, it's a red light. No. There are a couple things I want to do to the Shadow just to make it I'm not going to run any better, but just, you know, different. Like, uh, I've been watching a bunch of videos of people, like, removing the baffles out of the stock exhaust. And I'm probably not going to do both the baffles, because then you got to redo the jets, and I, I really don't want to have to do that. But if you just remove the top one, uh, you shouldn't have to redo anything with the jets. It should just run, like, normal, but a little bit louder, which is uh, very nice. So I probably will just do that. And if I do do that, uh, hopefully I'll uh, think to record it. So I feel like that'd be a fun video, trying to see like a before and after of the sound test. But I don't know. I was riding a Shadow for like, I don't know, a solid week I'd say. And that bike is actually so much fun. The only downside with that bike is like the lack of a fuel gauge. That's kind of the only thing that like uh, I can see that's like wrong with it is that there's no fuel gauge on. So if like you have like a trip meter and uh, you know, you just kind of go, oh, 130 kilometers, I, I probably should get gas. And that's half the reason I bought the VFR in the first place. I really just wanted a fuel bar. Like I don't even care if it's like not that accurate. Just the fact that I can look at that and be like, oh, I've got like four bars of gas left. That, that's useful to me. That's something I, that's convenience. <laughs> I'll pay a lot of money for convenience. I don't like having to do shit that's complicated. That's half the reason I bought the Action 3. It's just been like shitty circumstances that, you know, I hadn't been able to use it as much as I'd like. But we're out on it now, so that's that's the that's the cool thing. Is that like gonna change or is that just gonna stay like that? Can it change? 
Can it change? Can it change? I have actually no clue where I'm going right now, I'll be honest. I think I have to go to Walmart, so I might take the back way to Walmart. I think. I'm also not 100% sure if I'm headed the right way or I'm in the right lane or nothing. It's been months since I've actually driven through this side of Burnside. And even then still, I'm pretty sure the last time I went through here, it was uh, like 10, 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. So everything was just pitch black. So I really, I really don't know. Being directions is weird. You can show me uh, a picture of a place and I'm like, yeah, I know how to get there. But if you like, ask me to like what street it is or what street to turn on to get there i'm like i have actually no clue not a damn one not one not a not a one like he behind us not sure what bike it is but it's a bikey it is a motorcycle This guy's about to, I think, pass us on the right, or the left, or the right. Shit. I don't know if the camera picked it up, but that, uh, that thing sounds sick. He's a good sounding motorcycle. Hopefully my shadow will sound very cool, cool, cool and aggressive. Like by the end of this week, next week, maybe, sometime, who knows. I'll just let, uh, I'll pass them once we get here. I don't feel like doing any sketchy shit on my father's bike. Last thing I need to do is go home and be like, yeah, I had some guy cut me off and run into me, so there's, there's no more CBR anymore. It, 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 is, it is gone. It's done, though. Like, I have yet to have a major accident while I'm on my bike, and I would like to, um keep that record going for as least as long as I humanly can. I see about pulling off this highway though, so the audio on this is still somewhat usable. Although I gotta say, I am surprised with the uh, audio quality of the DJI mics. Like, the mic kit's expensive, but when you factor in what it is, it's like probably $75, $80 a microphone, which, you know, I, I think $75 tech in any sort of spectrum is probably not the greatest, but these handle remarkably well. Like, these are absolutely phenomenal. Like, even when, uh, these are, like, completely butchered by, like, wind noise, they still sound on par with some of the bigger motovlog channels, which I'm like, th this is, th that's cool. I like it when I look at my setup and it's not like completely scuffed. I know one thing I'm not good at this bike, or not good on this bike at all, is like rev matching. Like I've, like I'm pretty good at the VFR. Um, I'm fairly good on the shadow. Not super great, but I'm good enough. Maybe closed. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. That's closed. Well, that sucks. Ooh, that's a nice bikey. A lot of nice bikes around. I don't know. It'd be nice to, like, get enough clout off this YouTube channel where I can just walk into a dealership. They're like, hey, I know you. You want to test on a bike? That'd be nice. I don't know how many times I go to a dealer and there's just tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of, tons of nice bikes. And I'm like, ma'am. I kind of want to ride all these. This would be fun. Even if I, they didn't trust me with, like, a lot of stuff, like, hey, you want to ride a Honda Navi up and down the road? Like, hell yeah, I do. Give me a Navi, give me a Grom, I'll run that shit. <laughs> like, I don't know. A Grom would be so fun, honestly. Something to, like, learn and, like, uh, try to stunt ride. Get a like, little cheap little, like, uh, stunt cage for it. You know, something where it's not, like, Seven grand. Oh my god, you're sorry. Oh, oh, oh. No. 
Active construction site. Active construction. Woohoo! I love active construction. I don't even know where to turn around up here. Find a nice spot. The good thing is there's probably not a whole lot of people. So, uh... Kind of don't have to worry about, like, trucks and cars and shit. Which is always nice. Oh, I'm about to... Ooh, I hit a rock. Oh, that's... Could have sucked. Don't hit a big-ass rocky. Oh! My foot just slipped. That would have sucked. There's a lot of shit they're putting up here. Yeah, don't hit that. That would uh, not be very good. Not be very good at all. But but a but but but. Ooh. I do believe I will end this video here. We've talked about some stuff. I'm gonna see if I can try to edit it down to make it a little more interesting. I'm gonna try anyways. And if I can shift it into neutral. That'd be fun. But yeah, if you've enjoyed watching, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna try to post more videos that are hopefully, uh, you know, mildly interesting. That is the plan. Although, failing is one thing I'm good at, so <laughs> we'll see what us, uh, we can do. Anyways, uh, I'm trying this Trinmoto, and peace.